morning friends it's bright and breezy on a wednesday morning and this morning i have got 875 stems to cut uh, including 350 for a little event um uh white posies so i thought i'd uh, scoop you along with me and you could follow the white posies story if you like uh, so it's an 875 stem cut because there are general posies and bouquets and stuff going up. Um, but also I'm working on these posies which are going out tomorrow. So I thought you might enjoy the process if you like. Um, come along. So my name is Georgie Newbury and I am a flower farmer and florist based between fashionable Bruton and up and coming with Canton here in sunny Somerset. It is two minutes past seven in the morning. Um, I have woken the children, they are getting up, uh, but it's going to be another hot day and then we have a big thunderstorm uh, forecast tonight and masses of rain. So I'm cutting for today and hopefully <laughs> a fair chunk of tomorrow as well. Um, always make a list of what you're cutting. Don't just go out and cut what you feel like, always make a list. Uh, and for my 300 uh, for my 14 posies they're gonna have 25 stems in each which makes 350 stems um that i'm cutting for my little white posies so in amongst everything else i've got to make sure i've got 350 stems if i'm going to have three stems of each variety in each posy that's 48 or 42 i don't know i'll do the math uh stems each of eight and a bit varieties that's how i work i always split everything into numbers and then it's quicker and although the it sounds quite systematic when it comes to creating the posies they'll have um, a consistency to them but of course they won't look exactly the same because the flowers all look different there you go Anyway, if you're enjoying these these uh, clips, please do subscribe. Somewhere there's a subscription button. You can press the bell icon. We'll tell you when we've got new uh, clips coming up. And if you find the advice I hand out helpful or you just want to support them, then there is a link in my bio and you can buy me a coffee. Obviously not a real coffee, but uh, it's just a way of saying thanks very much and I'm enjoying your your clips, which is really very kind of you and lots of people do it. So thank you very much. Uh, anyway, onwards and upwards, enough banging on. So one of the things I'm cutting for my white posies are these green zinnias because they're gorgeous and they'll give depth. You don't want too much white in a white posy or it all gets lost. So you need quite a lot of other texture and colour so long as it's not, so long as it's green. <laughs> This Ami Visnaga is lovely for white posies, but also for my other work. So I'm going to cut a hundred stems of this this morning. Um, this batch was direct sown <laughs> in little rows in April. Argued a long time because we had such a cold spring and has done well in the end. These lovely perennial grasses are fantastic at this time of year. So I'm definitely having some of these for my my white, <laughs> my white posies. So for my white posies, I am also cutting these lovely creamy um, Woolerton Old Hall. And so the colours aren't completely white, otherwise you don't see any depth of field, but the impression will be white. It's really important to sort of play about with the colours a bit. And these side shoots of the limelight hydrangeas lovely filler so here we've got a nice mix we've got mint phytocarpus white cosmos some a little bit of um snaps some zinnias some ami visnaga various kinds of roses a little bit of leftover verbena that white one there which is very nice um some mm, phytocarpus some Variegated corners, always very keen. Good mix of roses and creams and whites. A little bit of grass, some side shoots of the limelight hydrangeas, and round here and up with the dahlias, which are for something else. Uh, 
here we have some still going lovely acidanthra. So that's a nice mix to go with, isn't it? So here I am in the workspace, my very untidy barn. There are my lovely white flowers. I've got more flowers at the end. I've got other things to do. Uh, but so 14 posies to go into these little jars. And then they're going to be tied up. My client likes a ribbon around their jars. So I've got this rather nice bronzy coloured ribbon, which I'm going to put around the jars. Let the posy making commence. Um, shall I just film me making a posy? Might be quite boring, but you never know. Uh, here we go. <laughs> we'll see. There's Fabrizio sneezing. So I've got 25 stems per posy and I am quite fast and speedy. She says, dropping stuff all over the floor. Uh, just going around. The, the, the curating of these posies was made when I when I planted the garden. So it's a really quick process of just whipping around. There are some spare side bits. These side shoots of the um, Hydrangeas are really pretty. I love them, they're softer. I really prefer them to the main show of the hydrangeas. And I whip, well, it is quite a quick process. So you can see they're white, but they're not white. If you're too white with your white posies, there's no depth of field. Um, I have to answer that phone. But here we go so far. So, do you remember in, when I cut them, I said I was cutting sort of three per posy? So, once I've started, I can really whiz through and just. It's quite a quick process. Um, but I do, because I haven't quite got exactly three stems per posy, because you don't want them to be identical, I make a rough count. And when I get to about this stage, because they're quite fat and nice, um, and some of them are going to have a stem of a stem of fever few and some of them are going to have a stem of a um, snapdragon. So they're, they're not quite identical, but they're getting there. So when I've got to about this stage, I'll count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two. So three more stems, and that's twenty five. means that there'll be a balance with them. Here are, it's 25 little stems. Sweet, aren't they? Um, and just making sure they've got 25 stems each means that there'll be um, a consistency, a sort of weight consistency to them. They won't all be identical, but they'll be similar and they'll all be about that size. So quickly tie that up. Oh, my snip. I spend most of my time looking for my snips. And this is where you have to be careful not to cut your little finger off. Now, when you cut off 
quite short because they're going in these little jars. Yeah, look at that sweet little posy. Very nice. <laughs> Okay, right, enough of this. I've got to make 14. I've got things to do. I'll see you shortly. So it's a couple of hours later. I'm just tying up the last one. Um, it would have been faster if the phone has been ringing off the hook this morning. I think everyone's got back to school, a back to school feel. And there's masses of <laughs> inquiries and people are asking about things. And would I like to do this, that and the other thing? Or can I help with such and such? Anyway, it's been an interesting morning. Um, and we now have 14 posies. And there's the last one. And they're, I, they're all pretty much the same. Uh, the same ingredients and the same weight. I, I, sort of obsess, I don't obsess about it, but I do like... I don't like things to be too matchy-matchy. I don't like things to be too matchy-matchy, but I do like things to have a sort of feel of you know similar weight to them so there we are <laughs> all getting screwed up in the other one it'd be easier if i took that one away wouldn't it there we are there there they're sweet little posies they're very nice um so i'm going to tie them all up um i might make a circle of love photograph uh, but we've got to get them delivered to my client fairly quickly so <laughs> i can't wait anyway there we are lovely little posy so um Shall I do a quick circle of love? Oh, go on then. Wait a minute, I'll be back. And there you go. Including my toes. Toes for scale. You see, they're quite dinky posies. But aren't they pretty? All together. Oh, shame about the table leg. <laughs> that is very, very attractive. If I step back. There. Let's see if I can get it all in one. Oh, easier said than done to get it all in one shot. I might have to take a photograph um, and add that on. I do look, look, aren't they pretty? So there we are, we're all done. I'm going to pack them up and they'll get delivered now to my lovely client in nearby village. Um, thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the clip, please do subscribe there's a subscription button somewhere around and click the bell icon and we'll tell you when we have a new clip coming out and if you have found any of the hints and tips along the way useful you can always buy me a coffee thank you very much uh the link is in the bio somewhere <laughs> click back to my bio on here and you'll find a link to buy me a coffee um, which really supports making these films. So thank you very much. The more coffees I get bought, the more films I make. <laughs> oh yes, it's all about making money. I know it is. Really, at the end of the day, we need to make a living. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye.